Disney Junior, Puppy Dog Pals, The Last Puppicorn. There. Now you're my puppicorn, Chloe says. My mom got me this because she knows how much I wish I had a unicorn. Kia wags her tail. I wish you had a unicorn too. Chloe waves goodbye and leaves for school. I wish I could do something special for Chloe like you do for Bob, says Kia. Kia, I've got an idea, Bingo says. We can go on a mission. That sounds amazing, Kia replies. If Chloe wants a unicorn, then I'm going on a mission to get her one. Mission, find a unicorn for Chloe. We're going on a mission, the puppies sing. There's just one problem. Where do we find a unicorn? Kia wonders. Bingo and Rolly know that Arf always knows. Arf does not know where to find a unicorn, Arf tells them, but Arf does know that the unicorn of the sea lives deep in the cold, cold Arctic Ocean. Find a sea unicorn in the Arctic Ocean, Rolly says. How hard can that be? The three puppies board a ship and keep a lookout from the deck. When Rolly sees a horn pop out of the water, he shouts, Sea unicorn over there! They activate their scuba gear. The puppies look and look and look. They don't see a sea unicorn anywhere. Maybe that whale can help us, Kia suggests. Um, Mr. Whale? When the whale turns around, Kia gasps as she sees his giant horn. <gasps> You're the sea unicorn, she squeals. Actually, I'm a narwhal, the whale explains. I'm just called the Unicorn of the Sea because of my horn. Fun fact, it's really a tooth. I bet he uses a lot of toothpaste, Rolly whispers to his brother. Come to think of it, the unicorn on Chloe's sweater did look a lot more like a horse than a whale, Kia admits. Perhaps a horse might know more about unicorns than I do, the narwhal says. Bingo and Rolly know some horses. Maybe they know where to find a unicorn. Thank you, Mr. Sea Unicorn, Kia calls. I mean, Mr. Narwhal. Don't forget to floss, Rolly adds. Bingo, Rolly, and Kia head back home and run straight to the park. Horses! Kia yells. Bingo and Rolly greet their friend, Betty. Do you know where to find a unicorn? Rolly asks her. There's one right next to you, she replies. I'm a puppy dressed like a unicorn, Kia explains. Uh, what will they think of next, Betty neighs. Betty has never seen a unicorn, but her friend B points to the other side of the park where the medieval fair is going on. Kia gasps in awe when she sees a magical creature in the distance. Then she takes off running. I'm so excited! Bingo and Rolly race after Kia through the medieval fair. It's hard not to get distracted by balls to fetch and delicious-looking turkey legs. Mr. Unicorn! Mr. Unicorn! Kia calls. You may call me Reginald, milady, the unicorn replies. Would you come to my house to be Chloe's unicorn, please? Kia asks him. She loves, loves, loves unicorns. Reginald tells Kia that he would be honored to meet Chloe. Up aboard, he says. Tally-ho, puppy pals. Reginald rears. He shakes his flowing mane. And then... Reginald's horn and mane fall to the ground. You're not a unicorn either? Kia asks sadly. Alas, I'm merely a humble horse pretending to be a unicorn, Reginald explains. I don't think anyone's ever seen a real unicorn. Kia walks away 
heartbroken. If no one has ever seen a unicorn, she will never find one for Chloe. You know, Kia, Bingo says, with or without a unicorn, you'll always be perfect for Chloe. She's your person, and you're her puppy. You do give Chloe the best puppy licks, Rolly points out, and you make the best things out of sticks, Bingo adds. Sticks, Kia shouts, that's it. Chloe runs to the craft table at the fair. She grabs a few short sticks, a few long ones, and one pointy horn-shaped stick. Then she gets to work. Now Chloe can have her unicorn, Kia says. Pup-tastic, Rolly cheers. When Chloe gets home from school, she sees the unicorn Kia made for her. She loves it but not nearly as much as she loves her puppy. Mission accomplished.